Imagine digging into the ground below where you are right now. Anywhere on Earth, if you dig far enough, you will encounter rocks. Earth's crust is almost entirely some form of rock. Geologists recognize about 200 different kinds of rocks. A rock is a solid aggregate of one or more minerals. For example, granite is a common type of rock. It is a combination of the minerals feldspar, biotite, and quartz. Minerals, in turn, consist of an element or compounds made from a number of elements. For example, the quartz in granite is a mineral made up of silicon combined with oxygen. The three main types of rock are sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. All rocks begin as igneous rocks. The high pressure of Earth's interior squeezes or extrudes magma, becoming lava as it reaches Earth's surface. Extrusion is the most movement of magma through cracks in Earth's crust. As lava cools and solidifies, it becomes igneous rock, such as basalt. Another type of igneous rock forms deep beneath Earth's surface. Magma is slowly pushed up from Earth's interior through a process known as intrusion. Unlike lava on the surface, this rock slowly cools underground into a solid. The cooling takes millions of years, and as tectonic forces uplift the rock and surface layers are eroded, the process creates mountain ranges and other landforms. The Sierra Nevada Mountains in California and the Devil's Tower in Wyoming are formed mostly of intrusive rock. Weathering breaks down igneous rocks into small particles. Through erosion and deposition, these particles settle in layers in places such as sand dunes and riverbeds, forming sediments. Over time, the sediments accumulate and press together to become sedimentary rock, such as sandstone or limestone. When sedimentary rock is buried deep enough, heat and pressure can transform the rock into metamorphic rock. Metamorphosed limestone becomes marble, commonly used for sculptures and building materials. At some tectonic plate boundaries, rocks are subducted deep below Earth's surface. As they melt, these rocks become magma, which returns to the surface, starting the cycle anew. Although rocks are formed and transformed through a diverse set of natural processes, they're all part of this rock cycle. The rock cycle is a model of the processes that create and transform rocks. Aside from forces within Earth's interior, processes on Earth's surface involving wind, temperature, water, and ice all play a role in the rock cycle. We use rocks in many different ways. For example, builders use rocks in the construction of buildings and other structures. Rocks provide the ore that is the source of minerals and metals needed for the manufacture of countless products. Many of the nutrient minerals in your body originally came from rocks. Studying the structure and composition of rocks helps scientists to better understand Earth's history. We might take the ground beneath our feet for granted, but rocks are essential to many aspects of our daily lives.